Hi Ashley, this is just a quick video about the octave technique we spoke about. So ideally we want a curve in our hand so that we've got an arch shape, so that we've got uh, stability. What we don't want is completely flat fingers because when you try and play a black note you're going to run into the edge of the piano. So we've got to curve our fingers a bit. We don't want our wrist high because that's going to be bring tension. We don't want our wrist low because that's going to bring other sorts of tension as well. So we want a relatively straight forearm. We want the knuckles to be the high point. And we're going to play the octave with our wrist. There will be a bit of arm movement, but we don't want to be just using the arms to play the octave. So we're going to focus on the wrist movement. So just practice playing a few octaves with the wrist movement. Look how relatively still my arm is. And then we can go into the C major scale. Don't worry about note accuracy. Concentrate on the motion rather than the notes. And if you get that wrist movement nice and fluid, then you'll find it easy to speed up further down the road. So that's the hand position we want. Nice and curved, straight arm, not a high wrist, not a low wrist, not flat fingers, with the knuckles as the high point. Hope that helps. See you next week. All the best. Bye.